Hi everyone, my name is Glenda Sparling with SureFit Designs and today I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to do a large arm alteration or adjustment. You know, I like to call these minor tune-ups because with SureFit Designs you're going to get a really excellent starting place for your um, body blueprint for your, your slope or for your pattern, but I do appreciate that some of you have a large bicep and you need to make sure that your sleeve pattern is going to fit you properly. First of all, let me just mention that in the SureFit Designs Dress Kit Instruction Book on page 16, there are the written directions for how to do this large arm mi um, minor tune-up. But let's take a look at it visually today. This is an example of a pattern that has been drawn out and just for the sake of demonstration, I've used a 40 inch bust circumference. So that's, as you go through the book, you'll understand how to do this. I've used the 40 dot at the underarm and of course, all the way around in the neckline area, etc. Now, when you go to draw the sleeve off, you will also be using your 40 dot. And this is a stripped down pattern, meaning it doesn't have any seam allowances on it. And at this point in time, I'm not going to add the seam allowances because if you know that you have a large upper arm, this is a good place without the seam allowances to check the width of the arm in relationship to your arm circumference. So the first thing that you'll want to do when you're taking your measurements is get your tape measure and measure yourself around in your bicep area just pretty much underneath your armpit and pick up and record whatever that measurement is. Then you're going to take that measurement and you're going to compare it to the pattern. But let's talk about ease in the sleeve for a moment. When you're wearing a garment, depending of course on the style of the sleeve, um, with a fitted sleeve, you're likely going to be most comfortable if you have about an inch and a half to two inches of ease in your bicep area. Now, of course, everybody is unique and different. Some of you might uh, mind it uh, a little bit looser. Some of you might want it a little bit tighter, but that's going to be personal preference. So the starting point, as I say, is about an inch and a half to two inches of ease in the bicep area. So that means that you've got to measure your pattern to see what it is that, it's, um, that it drew out to, and then you have to apply this little formula, which I'll just put right up here. And basically what it is, is you take your arm measurement plus ease and then you subtract the width of the sleeve that the pattern is currently giving you. Whatever the difference is, you then divide it in two because you want to put half the amount on either side of the sleeve cap. So let's take a look at this example. First of all, we need to know what the sleeve measures. From underarm point to underarm point, that is 14 inches. Well, if I didn't have a large upper arm, that would say to me that I could comfortably get in there a 12 inch bicep, possibly 12 and a half inch, but if my bicep was 13 inches around, then that sleeve might be getting a little bit snug. So just keep that in the back of your mind that we have 14 inches here to work with. All right. Let's say that you have measured your arm and your arm plus ease, let's just say that your arm actually measures 14 inches around. So you take your arm measurement plus an inch and a half of ease and that means totally you would require 15 and a half inches all the way across. Well, the sleeve pattern is giving you 14 inches, so if I subtract 14 from 15 and a half, it means that I need to add an inch and a half. However, I'm doing it over two seams, so I'm going to divide that in half, meaning that at each underarm point, I need to add three quarters of an inch. And so just use your seam gauge 
to measure out three quarters of an inch and do the same thing on the other side like that. And then what you will do is first of all pencil this in. Again, you know that I use these dark marking pens so that everybody can see what I'm doing, but at home you'll obviously want to be using your pencil. Then take your designing stylus and blend this back in to the current sleeve cap so it would look approximately like this. And you do the same thing on the back side of the sleeve. Like that. Now, you do know that there are many different ways to skin a cat. Well, there's a lot of different ways to do a large arm alteration as well. This is just one of them. And you know the end result is all about the same. So why not do it the easiest way possible? No cutting and spreading of your pattern. Just add what it is that you need. Now, your cap height, sometimes depending on your arm shape at the top of your shoulder, you may want to reduce your cap height, just a, a tiny little hair, but quite often people require this cap height on their sleeve so that it gives them a nice shape over the top of their shoulder. And then of course all you do will, uh, would be to blend this down into the side seam of the sleeve. So it would look something like this. And if you need to make the elbow area wider, you can do that as well. It just depends what you need for your specific um, arm shape. Now. We've widened out the sleeve, and I know what you're thinking. Well, what about the armhole? How do I get this into the armhole? And that is obviously an excellent thought. Where do you go from here? Well, if you've added only about a total of um, one, uh, one inch of ease across here, then you can ease that extra difference into the arm side. It takes, you know, some manipulating when you're sewing, but you can usually get it in. But whenever you get um, beyond an inch of additional ease across your sleeve, you, you will need to make your armhole bigger. And so because I added three quarters of an inch on each side of the sleeve, I must also add three quarters of an inch on the underarm of the bodice. And I need to do that on the back bodice as well. But now you're going to say, yes, but Glenda, this is going to make the whole bodice feel really big on my body, around my bust line. Well, you're right, it is. And there really isn't any way to get around that. If you want a very smooth set-in sleeve, then yes, your bodice needs to get wider at your underarm. But there is something that I think works equally as well, and it won't add quite so much fullness um, at your bust line area is I like to drop the underarm approximately a half an inch and then come out about five eighths of an inch. It's not a lot of difference between your three quarters but it is a little bit. Let me get my stylus here and reconnect this. So then your underarm would look like this and then you would blend this down into your dart space. It makes your bodice a little bit wider, but it also helps to um, lengthen the armhole or the arm's eye and give it the correct amount of space that you need in order to get this sleeve in place. So when you are um, uh, done doing this alteration, or what, as I say, I call the minor tune-ups, then you want to verify and make sure that you're getting approximately what you need. So in theory, this should now measure about 15 and a half inches across, and it does. And the other thing that you would need to check is to measure from your sleeve cap notch to your underarm on the back of the bodice and compare that to the back bodice of your um, uh, dress pattern or uh, bodice pattern. Remember this is going to have been extended out um, uh, three quarters of an inch or dropped a half and come out about five eighths of an inch. What you want to do is make sure that 
this dimension from your sleeve cap notch to the underarm is only about five eighths of an inch longer than whatever your back bodice arm eye is now. On the front, when you measure from your sleeve cap notch to your underarm and compare that to the front arm eye, this distance on your sleeve cap should be about a half an inch longer. So you're getting about five eighths of an inch of ease on the back and about a half an inch of ease on the front of the, the sleeve pattern. But this is basically how you need to deal with the underarm. And again, this is all covered on page 16 of the dress kit instruction book. Now, this is if you would like to have the uh, sleeve as a relatively smooth set in sleeve. Of course, there are other sleeve designs that are going to allow you to get uh, the fullness that you require for your larger upper arm, but that will not change the underarm significantly. So you can look at doing like a gathered sleeve cap, and of course you're not going to want to wear a gathered sleeve cap all the time. You may want to take that fullness, that extra width that you've got here, and turn it into some pleats. In fact, you could widen the space out considerably and make some very decorative and pretty pleats at the top of your um, sleeve cap. Another thing that you can do is do this really, really little, pretty little uh, petal or tulip sleeve, and it can be made as long as you want it to, where the sleeve opens up um, from the cap down, and that's a, actually an excellent one for the large upper arm. Another sleeve you could do is a uh, flounce style of sleeve, and this is a uh, in incredibly pretty on its very, very lovely design. Both of those sleeve designs are found in the newest design book called Beyond Bodice Basics. So another option, and I should uh, mention this as well, is that you could, in fact, split your sleeve down the center of your sleeve, separate the two pieces out away from one another, add seam allowances, and in the process doing that, curve this seam. And by curving the seam, you would give the fullness that you require for your bicep. Yes, I do know it means your sleeve has a seam up the center of it, but you would get a better fit that way as well. You would obviously want to be careful of the fabrics that you choose. It would likely look best in um, a solid fabric where the seam is not so obvious. Or if you did use a print, it would have to be one of those really wild prints so that it wouldn't matter if the print actually matched going up and down the seam. But there are some ways for you to deal with the large upper arm. And I know that when you use SureFit designs, you can be sure of the fit. I invite you to join the SureFit Designs community and you can do that by going to surefitdesigns.com, signing up for the newsletter and there's four free gifts to get you started. And please make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. There's a subscribe button right below where I'm speaking. We have over 300 videos on fitting, designing and sewing all for your benefit. Please make sure you watch more SureFit Designs videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.